Welcome back Year Fours, it's Miss Shah here. Unfortunately, I'm not showing my face because I'm very camera shy. However, my emojis there jumping up and down like I do in school. I hope you've all been keeping uh, safe and staying at home. So from today on, we're going to do some new learning as our topics have now changed. There will be a lot of new things you might not know, but that's okay because we're going to try and help you by putting up links, resources in the videos for you to then be able to access. Even then, if you have any questions or queries or need help with a question or something, you can always email us on the year 4 Gmail and we'll get back to you there. It's like asking a question in class. If it comes to your mind, email us. And yes, yeah, so then I hope you're all ready for the new learning because I'm very ready. Okay, so let's get started for today. For today's session, you're going to need a pencil and a piece of paper. Hopefully you have it. If not, you pause the video and go grab it quickly. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to write the date and the learning intention to understand what an expanded noun phrase is right at the top of your paper just like you do in your English books once you've done that we can then move on so you can pause the video and start writing that okay so year fours uh, we're going to be looking at different words every day to try and expand our vocabulary um, your fir first word of the day for now is integrity now, integrity is a noun. The quality, of, um, the definition of integrity is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. Okay, so some synonyms for integrity are honesty, uprightness, probity, rectitude, honor, and this tongue twister, which is honorableness. Okay, it's quite a long word. Um, Okay, and integrity in a, in a sentence is a gentleman of complete integrity. Somebody who's completely honest and has strong moral principles. Okay, so we're going to have a word of the day. I'm going to try it every day. Um, it will allow us to, you know, expand our vocabulary, learn new words, and then we're going to try and use all these words in our writing, hopefully. Okay. So... Guys, what we're going to do from now on is every Monday and Tuesday we're going to do our spelling tests since we can't do it in school. So you'll do a spelling test at the beginning of every English lesson. Um, okay, so you're going to have five words on Monday and five words on Tuesday. So I'm going to call out a few words. You can pause the video um, every time so you can then spell it. I'm going to call out a word. I'm going to put it in a sentence and I want to. I want you to try to spell it. These five words are going to be, um, these are a random selection and you not obviously revised it. So it's okay if you, um, if it's okay if you don't know them. But from next week on, um, you'll obviously have them at the end of every lesson for you to then practice. And then you'll be uh, tested on it. So today's ones, um, you might not know them. So it's okay. It's not a problem. Okay. Pause the video for yourself after I've called out a word. Your first word is answer. Please answer my calls. Answer. Your second word is appear. Appear. She was about to appear in front of the ghost. Appear. Your third word is arrive. Arrive. I always arrive to school on time. Your fourth word is believe. Believe. Believe in yourself and you'll be able to do it. Your fifth word is bicycle. I rode my bicycle to school every day. Okay. Pause the video once you're done and then the answers are on the next slide to check them. So here are the answers. Check if you have gotten the correct and, you know, count. Keep a record of how many you get correct every time. If you get less than three, you should do ten star jumps. So let's start with our learning for today. Um, what is an expanded noun phrase? Okay, so an expanded noun phrase gives much more detail than a simple noun phrase. 
an expanded noun phrase are phrases that tell you more about a noun. A noun phrase would add in an adjective to become an expanded noun phrase. And for those of you who've forgotten what a noun is, a noun is a person, place, animal or thing. So here are examples of some nouns just in case you've forgotten what a noun is. Okay, so those are nouns. An expanded noun phrase describes a noun. It adds an adjective to the noun. You've got some nouns over here. Okay. So let's have a look at how you can expand a noun phrase. So we've got a noun phrase over here, a house. Okay. And for you to expand this noun phrase, you need to add another noun to modify it. So a house, that's the noun phrase. And we've added a country house. We've added another noun to the noun phrase. So we've got a and then two nouns, a country house. Now to extend, to make this sentence even better, we add an adjective to the nouns. Okay, so a derelict old country house. Now we've got, we've added two adjectives to the noun phrase. Okay, and now what we can do is expand it even further by adding a prepositional phrase to give extra details. Okay, so a derelict old country house with boarded and broken windows. In case you've forgotten, prepositional phrases are a group of words containing prepositions. Remember that prepositions are words that indicate the relation relationship between various elements within a sentence and you'll never have difficulty identifying prepositional phrases. Okay, so we've got a house, then we've added another noun, a country house, then we've added adjectives, a derelict old country house. Derelict, derelict means in a very something that's in a very poor condition as a result of not being used or something that's been neglected. Okay. And then the final phrase is a derelict old country house with boarded and broken windows. So we've turned a noun phrase into a very interesting sentence. That's a very powerful sentence. Let's have another example. Now, what I want you to do is try and expand this noun phrase, okay? First, I want you to add another noun, then you need to add some adjectives, and then you need to add a prepositional phrase, okay? I want you to pause the video and see how you can do this sentence, this noun phrase, and then I'll go through expanding it for you. Off you go, pause the video, and then have a go. Okay. So I hope you've had your go. Um, send us send me photos of anything you try to um, you've done, and then I'll have a look. Okay. So a teacher. We've added another noun, a maths teacher. Now we need to add adjectives. A helpful, friendly maths teacher. Just by adding these small things, you can see how interesting the sentence becomes. And so a teacher, that's quite boring. A maths teacher, ooh. And then like a helpful, friendly maths teacher, it, it starts to describe and it, the sentence starts to get really interesting. And now we need to add the prepositional phrase. Okay, a helpful, friendly maths teacher with a fluffy moustache. Okay, even though he doesn't have a moustache in that photo, I think he's got two lines. But just by adding those small details, it becomes very interesting it's a lot more than a teacher which is very boring when you're writing if you add these little details it just makes your writing a lot more interesting and fun to read all right guys following the steps below how could you expand this now phrase okay there are three steps remember what's the first step call out you've got 10 seconds yep you add another noun to this noun phrase our noun phrases a shit. Now you add another noun to this noun phrase. What's the second step? You've got 10 seconds. Call it out. What do you need to add? You need to add adjectives. Good. And the third step. What's the third step? Call it out. Five seconds. Yes, you need to add a prepositional phrase. Now what you're going to do, what I want you to do is pause the video. Have a go. You've got a minute. 
try to make this boring noun phrase they ship into a very interesting fun sentence for me off you go all right so first we add another noun to the noun so a ship becomes a pirate ship and then we add adjectives an enormous menacing pirate ship okay menacing is something that's quite threatening or scary okay so just by adding you know two three extra words it's become a lot more interesting and you know it, can, it creates a picture in your head now we add the prepositional phrases which gives us more details so an enormous menacing pirate ship on the still calm ocean okay just the uh, by adding these three by following these three steps it makes your writing or a simple sentence a simple phrase a lot more fun to read as well as up leveling your work now let's have another go at you know right uh, writing expanded noun phrases so following the steps that we learnt, how could you expand this uh, this noun phrase what i want you to do is write your own simple noun phrase about this lovely eagle over here in the top left hand corner off you go you've got a minute try to follow the three steps that we do even if you, even if you could do two steps you know that's up leveling your work moving it on from an eagle to two steps or three steps is great off you go you've got a minute to try and you know you've got a minute to um expand your now so you've got an eagle before we go through the answer okay, let's go through the answer now so we add another noun to the noun phrase an american eagle then we add the adjectives an intimidating predatory american evil eagle not evil eagle sorry and then the third step is adding a prepositional phrase to give extra details an intimidating predatory american eagle with a wide wingspan okay so for some of you guys you might be able to just add another noun some of you guys may, might be able to add an adjective and some of you guys might be able to add all three you know just moving it on from a simple simple noun phrase a an eagle even adding another noun or an adjective or up level your writing and make it a lot more interesting okay let's move now if you're still a little bit unsure about expanding noun phrases what i want you to do is click on this link it's a little video from bbc bite size about what expanding noun phrases are and watch this clip before we move on to the task uh, just in case you're confused and even those of you who are still sure you know there's no harm in watching this video it's quite a fun video to watch so guys your first task well your task is in the next three the next um you're gonna have three pictures as the video goes on there's gonna be two other pictures and what you're gonna need to do is you're going to write down three of your own expanded noun phrases about the picture that you see so I've done an example for you here so the delicious smooth cow's milk in a clear glass jug so I've got the two nouns that I've started off with the noun was the milk and then the cow's milk and then I've got the two adjectives delicious and smooth and then the prepositional phrase okay so I've done the first example for you now I've got this picture to write three expanded noun phrases about and to describe this picture um, what I want you to do is take around five minutes for each photo so you've got 15 minutes uh, come up with as many as you can try three but you know if you can do more um, that'd be great and here is your spelling list for tomorrow's spelling test so you've got accident, accidentally, actual, address and although. So those are the five words that I will be testing you guys on tomorrow. Hopefully uh, you do take some time out today to practice these. Uh, take around 10 minutes. Just write them out as many times as you can. And then obviously the more you write it, the more you're likely to remember it.
good luck and i hope i hope you've enjoyed today's lesson i'll speak to you guys tomorrow bye guys and make sure you do send over any work that you do to the to the year four um and gmail and we will be doing shout out videos okay so make sure you are taking photos and sending over all your lovely work because we really want to see it bye guys